quarantine, day eight, March 23rd. We couldn't afford a babysitter for our kids, so we resorted to Netflix and PJ Masks. There are 28 episodes in season one of PJ Masks. Romeo is in three-fourths of those episodes. How many episodes have Romeo as the villain? What up my party people? Back again with a new week. We are on day eight. Let's dive right in. As always, if you've been with us since the beginning, you know we love our sides check word problem strategy. The S stands for statement. So our statement for this question should have said, blank episodes have Romeo as the villain. Based on that statement, we're looking for any information about episodes or Romeo, right? So the key things that we would have identified on our paper, but in this case we're going to write down, is that there are 28 episodes, because that's about episodes, all right, I spelled it right that time, woohoo, and three-fourths of those, okay, and the those is referring to the episodes, okay, so three-fourths of 28 have Romeo as the villain, okay, so right now I know I'm doing a fraction of a group, which means I'm going to be doing a fraction tape di diagram, okay, or a fraction model tape diagram. So I know the total amount of my entire tape diagram is going to be 28. My denominator, 4, tells me I need to split these 28 into four equal groups, okay, and I want to, and then my numerator, 3, tells me that I know that three of these pieces have Romeo as the villain, and then the rest do not. Okay, so I can just label that. And I know that my statement's asking for how many have Romeo as a villain, which means I'm going to be looking for the, the total or the value of these three pieces. Okay? Now we know that fractions are actually divisions, division equations, right? And so really what you're doing here is you're doing 28 and you are splitting it into four equal groups. All right, so 28 divided by 4 is a basic fact. Hopefully, you know it, 7, which means there are 7 in each of the four groups. And I want to know three of them. So 7 plus 7 plus 7, or 7 times 3, is 21. So 21 episodes have Romeo as the villain. Now, if you did the shortcut, what you would have done is 3 fourths of 28. And anytime you're doing a fraction of a group, so more than one, right, two, three, four, five, uh, six, a thousand, a million, a billion, you're really multiplying this fraction. So 28, or uh, three-fourths times 28, you put over one, you multiply across, that should be 84, four times one is four, and then like I said, we know fractions are really divisions equations, so 84 divided by four is still going to get you 21. So this is what you're really doing when you multiply fractions. It's kind of showing you that when you multiply fractions, really you're dividing, right? And then taking a certain amount of groups of that. Or you could have done the shortcut if your teacher has taught you that. But I always love to do the visual models first. So now I've actually done all of these steps. I've checked it. Thank you so much for spending your Monday with us here in quarantine. We hope you will continue to check our videos. Tune in tomorrow for episode 9. You do not or please tune in tomorrow to day nine. You do not want to miss it. We're revisiting the house down the street to get resources and supplies. Thank you so much. As always, please wash your hands. Don't touch your face. If you're feeling sick, stay inside. You don't need to go out and have a party right now, okay? Be healthy. Stay safe. Do math. I'm out.